for an artist, Cooper, when you're staring at a blank canvas, mm -hmm. okay, no matter how many ideas are in your head, mm -hmm. is it slightly daunting? It is, but no, because I have so many ideas at each time. Every time you finish a painting, there's always something new that leads to another painting. So even sketching this out, if I have three or four more canvases, I have three more ideas right now. As soon as you start to, as soon as you do one, you'll find something in that that will keep going to the next one. That's why I have 10 to 15 paintings around me at all times. Because it just- But Cooper, I don't know of any artists that <clears throat> work solely on one work. Artists yeah. seem to prefer this way of wor working mm -hmm. on multiple canvases and jumping from one to the next. Mm -hmm. But are you saying it's almost like a series that something triggers in this that you're like, oh my God, that's a great idea. <clears throat> Let me start that. And then something triggers then, it's like this chain reaction. Exactly, exactly. And that's how when you're in the same mindset in a certain studio like this for five months, you'll get works that are all kind of from the same vein as you might want to say, because one leads to the next. And then once you finally step out of that after six months, then you have the body of work that all goes together. Do you ever start a painting and then halfway through think, actually, obviously not at this stage when you've mm -hmm. sketched, but mm -hmm. there, is there a point, is there a critical point when you're in the middle of it that you often do a complete vault fast. You completely change and you go, actually, this isn't quite right. This isn't working. Yes, yes. Um, that's definitely happened. And with the, uh, the show in Stad, I'm painting halfway through a painting, even posting on like um, Instagram stories, people are seeing it. And the next day I wake up and I'll have a new idea. And if I don't have another canvas on deck, I'll just completely paint over that one. And then you might not even see that. You're like, oh wait, I saw that canvas. How did it turn out? It's like, well, it didn't turn out because I had a new idea and I had to get that one out. And this was the only uh, canvas I had in the studio at that time. So you sketched here. Yes. Right. So have you done that? Have you done a small sketch of this beforehand, or have you sketched directly onto the canvas? Just sketched directly onto the canvas. Okay. And so yes. what's the next stage? So the next stage would just be starting to add in um, some of the colors. Yeah. So I would probably start out with um, the foreground colors first, what you see first, and then work my way back. Um, so maybe kind of uh, the record right here, and then the, the plate of oranges here, and then kind of slowly go back into the still life. Okay, and then you won't be doing any detail on those? Those will just be kind of block Yes, yes, very kind of just fill in colors. Right. And then once you move through the whole piece, then I'll start back again over yeah. and start doing shadows and details. So the way you talk about it though, it is so inspired that it makes me wonder if you feel that there's kind of something otherworldly that affects you. I think there's just a lot of intuition of uh, reading about a lot of other painters have come before me and the feeling process of what mm. painting really is as the artist. There's something there, yeah.